Hello, and welcome back to the Curator's Corner. Today we're going to be learning about Joseph Ming Reynolds' very small work, Nude. So this really remains a significant acquisition for the Fort Smith Regional Art Museum simply because of its very unique media. This technique is actually what is called scrimshaw and it's descended from 18th century whalers. They would carve into either bone, ivory, some other form of element, certain pictures, oftentimes maritime themes or women or something having to do with the ocean or their way of life. The word scrimshaw is actually descended from a word meaning carving or engraving. Now the technique is the process of engraving or pricking a knife or some sort of sharp object into a softer object such as bone or ivory, um, even wood. And so this was really based in a type of craft craftsmanship, local or you know unique to these whalers and their profession. So McReynolds is building on this tradition, except he is doing it in a very, in a much more contemporary way. He's really juxtaposing his work in between this idea of both art and craft. His subject matter in general, nude, you know, it's a picture of a nude woman. That is really putting his work in this idea of classic subject matter things that you see more in ancient Roman and Greek art or even in the Italian Renaissance. You see classic works often depicting gods, goddesses, various mythologies. So he's putting his work and his subject matter into this canon that has been long recorded throughout history. As for the detail, we can see that these are very fine engravings and carvings done by his knife and by his tool that he used to carve. You can see, much like aquatints, aquatints are very painterly types of tints and engravings. This is very painterly. We can see shadows, we can see outlines, we can see just the amount of detail put into this work. So it's not like a wooden block print where there are big, thick lines, but it, they're very small, delicate lines as well. And you can definitely see the attention to detail and the attention to shadowing that Joseph McReynolds pays. This is really an exceptional piece that Ram has, and so although it's small in stature, we're very lucky to have such a unique medium in our permanent collection. I hope you've enjoyed the Curator's Corner. Please join us again next time.